Hi, my name is Allie Legra. Ever think the clocks around you are wrong or slowing down? Let's take a look at how that could be happening. Tick tock, it's time to learn about the pendulum clock. In the pendulum clock gizmo, we discover how the effect of length, mass, and angle affects the period of a pendulum. The pendulum is attached to a clock that can be adjusted to tell time accurately. Our clock can be located on Earth or Jupiter to determine the effect of gravity. Let's start with our pendulum clock on Earth at a 25 degree angle and a 200 centimeter pendulum length. Now click play. What do you notice? Do you hear the tick tock? Let's now press the back arrow and drag a new bob to the end of the pendulum. This bob has a mass of 4 kilograms. What happens when we click play again? What do you observe with the actual time and the pendulum time found at the top of the gizmo? You can click mark time when the pendulum reaches its farthest point to the right and then again to the left to determine and record the time it takes to swing. Does the speed of the pendulum change? Wow, that made a big difference. I wonder which change would affect the speed most. Let's look at the features of the gizmo. I can export the data that I have just collected into an Excel file for later use by clicking the export button. I can also clear the data by clicking on clear. Just like our clock on Earth, we can use the gizmo to show how time is affected on Jupiter. Every gizmo has a set of lesson materials. This gizmo has some excellent real-world applications in its lesson materials. As a pre-gizmo activity, I have my students do the prior knowledge questions found in the student exploration sheet. This activity allows students the opportunity to clarify or learn new terminology that's a part of the pendulum clock gizmo, as well as give their own understanding of these items. After investigating all the variables on the gizmo, I ask my students to apply their knowledge to real life by calibrating the clock as described in Activity C. As a follow-up to Activity C, I provide my students with the discussion questions found in the teacher's guide. From there, they'll pick two and answer them in their science journals. They'll then discuss their answers with a shoulder partner and share their discoveries with the class. Now that you know how the pendulum clock works, you can catch the minutes that are flying by with this gizmo. Check out our related gizmos, period of a pendulum, simple harmonic motion, and energy of a pendulum. Oh my, look at the time! I've got to get back to discovering new gizmos.